day. And my story is more of a personal one. Um, as a former healthcare worker in both Oregon and Africa, and the mom of a son currently being treated, sorry, um, for acute lymphoblastic leukemia at OHSU, I've seen firsthand the devastating results of not vaccinating our children. When Kai was diagnosed on May 2nd in 2016, our worst fears were realized. Um, what it, uh, has ensued over the past three years has been really nothing short of a living hell. Kai's endured nearly three years of weekly and monthly chemotherapy, quarterly lumbar punctures, and chemo in his spinal fluid, daily and weekly oral chemo, monthly steroid pulses, countless port accesses and blood transfusions, numerous ER visits for fevers, and simple things like a common cold, all because he's immunocompromised and he's only five. What my husband Rob and I have endured during this time is the fear that our child